Did you know that some of the most excellent Ford pickups never made it to the USA? From rugged off-road beasts to sleek, stylish models, these Ford trucks have wowed drivers around the world but remain elusive to American enthusiasts. In this video, we will discuss the seven most exciting Ford pickups that never made it to American shores, so make sure to stick around till the end. Number 7. 2024 Regular Cab Ford Ranger Let's start talking about something that might seem a bit more mundane but is no less important, the 2024 Regular Cab Ford Ranger. This one stings a bit because it's so close, yet so far. We're all excited about the newly redesigned Ford Ranger. It's sleeker, more capable, and packed with new tech, but there's one big bummer. We're missing out on a key configuration. In other countries, Ford Pro offers the new Ranger in a regular cab configuration. That's right, a good old-fashioned two-door pickup with a long bed. It's the kind of no-nonsense work truck that many folks here in the States would love to have. Instead, in the US, we're limited to the crew cab configuration. Now, don't get me wrong, crew cabs are great for families or work crews that need to transport more people. But there's something to be said about the simplicity and utility of a regular cab and long bed setup. Number 6. Ford F1000 Turbo The F1000 Turbo was the result of a collaboration between Ford and a licensed builder called Sulamericana. This souped-up version of the F1000 took everything that was great about the original and cranked it up a notch. The turbo diesel engine provided a significant boost in power, making this truck a force to be reckoned with on Brazilian roads. But Sulamericana didn't stop there. They also created variants like the GB Delta and GB Monaco, each with its own unique features and styling cues. These trucks weren't just about utility, they were about making a statement. It's a crying shame that these funky and cool variants never made it to US shores. They represent a whole world of truck customization and performance that we missed out on. The F1000 Turbo and its siblings show us that pickup trucks don't have to fit into neat, predefined categories. They can be powerful, practical, and a little bit crazy all at the same time. Number 5. First Generation Ford Ranger Raptor For nearly a decade, American truck lovers had been enjoying the F-150 Raptor, Ford's high-performance off-road beast. So when Ford announced in 2019 that they would be building a Ranger Raptor, excitement levels went through the roof. But then came the crushing news, it wouldn't be sold in the US. The first-gen Ranger Raptor took everything we loved about the F-150 Raptor and packed it into a smaller, more nimble package. It featured a reinforced chassis, long travel suspension, and chunky off-road tires that could tackle just about any terrain you could throw at it. Under the hood, it packed a 2.0-liter twin-turbo diesel engine. Now I know what you're thinking, 2.0 liters doesn't sound like much, but this little powerhouse churned out 210 horsepower and a whopping 369 pound-feet of torque. The Ranger Raptor, with an aggressive front grille, flared wheel arches, and that iconic Ford lettering that we've come to associate with a Raptor name, makes it a real beast. For five long years, we watched from afar as other markets got to enjoy this compact off-road monster. It was like watching your neighbor play with the coolest toy you've ever seen but not being allowed to join in. The good news is that Ford finally listened and the second-generation Ranger Raptor will be coming stateside in 2024, but still we can't help but feel a twinge of regret that we missed out on the first generation. It's better late than never, but oh what adventures we could have had! Number 4. Ford F4000 Now let's shift gears and head to South America where Ford has been cooking up some seriously impressive trucks. Ford F4000, this Brazilian behemoth, has been turning heads and hauling heavy loads since 1975. While we in the States are familiar with the F150, F250, and F350, the Brazilians took it a step further. Who needs an F350 when you can get an F4000? This six-ton truck is like the F350's bigger, burlier cousin that hit the gym and never stopped. The F4000 continues to be offered in a variety of configurations, catering to different needs and preferences. But here's where it gets really interesting. Some versions come with a four-cylinder diesel engine under the hood. Now you might wonder, why would any American want a ridiculously long Ford with a commercial bed outback? Well, why wouldn't we? Imagine the possibilities. Need to move your entire house in one trip? The F4000 has got you covered. Want to start a mobile drive-in theater? Just back this bad boy up to a wall and you're in business. While it might be a bit overkill for your average grocery run, the F4000 represents a bigger is better philosophy that we Americans typically love. It's a shame we never got the chance to see these beasts rumbling down our highways. 3. Ford Bantam 
The Bantam is the nimble featherweight of the pickup world in South Africa. Originally based on the Ford Escort and later the Fiesta, the Bantam was one of the smallest utes ever produced. The Bantam was designed especially for the South African market where economy and utility were king. It featured equally small power plants, a base 1.3-liter engine and a larger 1.6-liter option. We're not talking about tire shredding power here, folks, but remember, good things come in small packages. This little workhorse was all about efficiency and practicality. Need to navigate narrow city streets while carrying a load? The Bantam had you covered. Want to make deliveries without breaking the bank on fuel? The Bantam was your guy. Production of the Bantam continued until 2011, meaning that we probably have a 0% chance of ever seeing one on American roads. And that's a real shame because there's something undeniably cool about these compact pickups. Number 2. Ford 3000 Leisure Backy Next up, we're sticking to the Southern Hemisphere but shifting our focus to another unique creation, the Ford 3000 Leisure Backy. Now before you start wondering if we're talking about a truck or a pastry, let me explain. Backy is just the South African term for a pickup truck. The Ford 3000 Leisure Baki was primarily available in Australia and a handful of other markets. It's a testament to the Landown Under's love affair with sedan-based pickups, a romance that Ford understood all too well. This quirky vehicle can best be described as a pickup made for leisure. The Leisure Baki was all about combining utility with comfort and style. It wasn't designed for heavy-duty work but for those weekend warriors who needed a bit of cargo space for their surfboards, camping gear, or DIY projects. Imagine cruising down to the beach with all your gear in the back, the wind in your hair, and not a care in the world. That's the vibe the Leisure Backy was going for. It's the kind of truck that makes you want to pack up and go on an adventure, even if that adventure is just a trip to the local hardware store. While we can't say for sure how popular it would have been in the US, there's no denying the appeal of a vehicle that blends practicality with a laid-back, fun-loving attitude. It's like the automotive equivalent of a Hawaiian shirt. Not for everyone, but those who love it really love it. Number 1. Ford Falcon Ute Let's head back down under for our final entry with a true blue Aussie icon, the Ford Falcon Ute. The Falcon has been a staple of Australian roads since the 1950s when Ford first introduced these sedan-based pickup trucks to the land down under. In the 1970s, the Falcon Ute adopted Mustang styling and V8 power, transforming it into a true performance machine. But the evolution didn't stop there. In its later years, the Falcon Ute was available with a turbocharged inline six-cylinder engine, a six-speed manual transmission, and a sport-tuned suspension. It was the perfect blend of practicality and performance. Need to pick up some lumber for a weekend project? No problem. Want to hit the drag strip on your way back? The Falcon Ute had you covered. Out of all the trucks America missed out on, this is probably the one that would have had us lining up around the block at Ford dealerships. It's a crying shame we never got to experience the thrill of a high-performance Ute on American roads. So, which of these Ford pickups would you most want to see in your driveway? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.